how to use 17 track order with Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can use the integration or the application named 17 track to track your orders with a Shopify. It is very easy and simple to do. All you have to do as always follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to your Shopify store. Then you have to set up your uh, products. Then also you have to set up your plans. Now the next step is to click on this uh, search bar right here. And then you are going to type 17 tracks like that or 17 track. After that, we are going to click on search 17 track in a Shopify app store. I will let you see the uh, app store page that we have and the official logo of the app. Here we have it as the name says 17 track order track and pay sync. Click on this. It has a very high rating and also a free plan available. I'm going to click on 17 track here. Simply click on install. Then we are going to close this window because this is not necessary here. It will guide us to the application to make the permission to it for installing. Click on install and here it will not take so much time. It will be guided right here and it will be mentioned as uh, on the apps. Here we have the Shopify store. It has installed the application or the 17 track order. We have here a welcome page. The first thing that you need to do here is to go ahead and click on pin to your navigation because we are going to need this app later and we are not going to search right here again for it. Here we have the steps. You are going to full tree. This is the steps that you can see here and the features that it will give you. I'm going to click on start tracking journey here. You have to make sure that everything is okay. Customers visit your store three, six times to track package. You can see here the tracking page link is ready for you. You can go ahead and preview it. I'm going to preview and see the demonstration. It will take us to our store. And here we have the 17 track apps. As you can see, track your order. Here we have the order number. And the order tracking number, you can go ahead and put the tracking number, click on track and your order has been delivered. This is only a preview or a demonstration. Here we have the steps. This is the translation, the company of the, or the carrier of the uh, shipping or the carrier of the products USPS, as you can see here with the um, contact info and here are the dates also the uh, addresses. Now let's close this window and go ahead to click on continue. Now keep your customer updated on package status. Here I'm going to click on continue. These are the features that here are on the 17 track. I'm going to uh, begin the process. Click here. You are going to put these away. Here we have the free trial. You can go ahead right here and click on shipments. This is the first thing that you are going to see. Here we have the orders that are, uh, or the orders that have been shipped or they have been fulfilled. Here we have the tracking page. Here you can put boost the customer satisfaction with a tracking page. It is ready here. Start using the tracking page. First step. Customize the tracking page. Here I'm going to click on customize. Then we are going to see the editor of the page. Simply it will open up tracking page. Now we have everything right here. We have the tracking info. You can put the tracking number or you cannot order number. You can put it also email phone number. You can add this for the content. You can put or change the title. Put the alignment and put the button text like this. This is track. That was for the tracking info. Here we have the status. You can see here the status. We have multiple choices. Hide carrier info or show it. 
you can enable map as you can see here it will show up a map you can show product info also here are the status description info received order pending not found and etc go back right here on the tracking sections we have here a, a portion of 67 67% 67 by 33 you can go ahead and put a equal width like this this is the first one and the this is the image or a 33 by 67 I'm going with this portion go ahead right here we have the image you can upload a image for this one let's go ahead and choose an image like that or newsletter let's go ahead and put this in newsletter and it will be shown right here you can go, go ahead and add a mobile only image or also you can add a hyperlink to the image it will be guiding them to uh, the website that you want when they click on the image this is very simple now we have here blocks you can add up to three blocks we have a image block and also a video block for the images you can add some sections you can add up to three uh, ten images five videos and one product recommendation you can also add this product recommendation for example you are going to set this recommendation type as smart algorithm or a manual selection if you click on manual selection you are going to select the product from your store for example this one i'm going to set this one and i'm going to uh, set a lot of products let's go ahead and this this and that also this and here we go click on these and they will be added now we have the styles you can go ahead and control the colors schemes we have the light mode and we have the dark mode you can select the background color brand colors and the corner radius now for the language settings you can put the page language adapt user to add uh, or adapt to user languages enable lingual adaptation it is up to you and then this is very recommended you can also a uh, add a multilingual and this is a paid feature and the track and information language now after i have set up everything i'm going to click on save if i want to preview this i'm going simply to click on preview and you will be good to go now this is the first step the second step you can set up the tracking page to your store here we have the tracking page you can go and copy the link copy your store tracking page link here select uh, the menu for tracking page in Shopify navigation and finally we have paste the tracking page link into the menu item and save now we are going to apply these steps click on copy the link it will be copied go to the navigation right here and the third step is to add a menu item you are going to name it track your order and you are going to paste the URL go to the navigation now let's see here on the main menu we need the main menu click on here are going to add a new menu scroll down here then i'm going to name it track your order simply like that and now we have the search or paste link i'm going to paste the link that we have simply on click on add here we have this one let's see what do we have and here we have it click on add and we have the here track your order i'm going simply to put it right here besides the home or besides the home like that click on save and i'm going simply to view my store let's see here we have the home i'm going to put right here click on home catalog i will wait for it until it appears maybe it, it will take some time to appear but it will appear as soon as possible and here is it track your order click on it and it will take you to the track page here we have to set up the order number the or uh, the email also and or the track and number and you can track it right away after we have finished this step which is the second one we will see the check mark right here now we have the third step which is explore more and it is a optional 
They provide data performance for the tracking page and marketing components to help you better monitor and improve the product conversions. You can go ahead to the analytics and see what do we have here. This is the uh, tracking page. This is the dashboard and here we have everything set up. You can go ahead and see the billing and the premium plans that they have. Or you can put, for example, on the shipment. Here you are going to track or export some some of the, the shipment that you have. And we have a lot of notifications. For example, we can go ahead and put the notification. Here we have to set the email or of the sender. And we have here the type of emails that we are going to or the app going to say and send. Info received in transit. Pick up, delivered, out of delivery, and delivered, alert, expired. Let's see to uh, the template of the delivered. Click on edit template. Here we have the template editor. Here we have the email subject. Your order product name has been delivered. Here we have the store name. You can go ahead and make or customize this email. We have a drag and drop menu, which is the best editor or best menu that you can put or modify with. We have the blocks, we have the content, and we have the body. After you have finished everything, you are going to click on save and test uh, or send a email test. That was very simple and easy to do. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.